What's going on YouTube? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. We have an interesting tale today out of Massachusetts where prosecutors say that a sweet potato actually helped crack a 12-year-old cold case murder investigation. Prosecutors say the alleged killer was caught thanks in part to a root vegetable used in the crime, which happened 12 years after a person was shot and killed on Cape Cod. On February the 27th of 2011, Todd Lampley was found shot to death in a Hyannis, Massachusetts home. Devarius Hampton, or Devaris Hampton, who is 40 years old, was arrested in Massachusetts on Friday. He was brought to court on Monday, which was exactly 12 years after the crime. Hampton said he wasn't guilty, so he was kept in jail without bail. A prosecutor with the Cape and Islands District Attorney's Office said that at the time of the murder, police found three shell casings and a sweet potato with a hole in it. Prosecutors said that Hampton's DNA was found on the sweet potato, the prosecutor, First Assistant District Attorney Jessica Alumba, said the sweet potato appears to be used as a silencer. Fans of the HBO drama The Wire may remember an episode where a sweet potato was used as a silencer. This led a lot of people to trying it out on the internet to see if it really worked. Police also found a cell phone at the scene of the murder that was registered to a character from The Wire named Marlo Stanfield. This suggests that the alleged killer may have been a fan of the show. In a new phone interview, Alumba said it's interesting the way the facts fit together. Alumba said in court that there is more proof that Hampton was at the house when Lampley was shot and killed, but she would not elaborate on why it took 12 years to make the arrest. Alumba said in court on Monday that Hampton was at the scene of the shooting because he was wearing a GPS monitor from a different crime. This showed that he was there at the time of the shooting. Prosecutors say that the gun used in the crime was also taken from a lake nearby. Hampton will be back in court on April the 5th in AM in Barnstable County. Okay, number one, guys. He was wearing a, a GPS monitor from a different crime when he goes and commits this murder. Now, how in the world did it take 12 years for this dude to, to, to end up getting arrested for this? I mean, it, I, I don't get it. I mean, the GPS monitor on, alone should have been enough evidence. I mean, it showed that he was there at the time that this murder took place. But of all things to crack a case open a sweet potato. That's got to really sting. You know, you're sitting here free for 12 years. You think you've gotten away with it scot-free. And what brings you down is a root vegetable. But yeah, I thought it was an interesting story, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I, I just thought this was one of those oddball stories that y'all would enjoy hearing about first thing this morning. Uh, as always, guys, I do want to thank you all so much for tuning in and watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. If you're not subscribed yet, consider doing so. You all have a great day, and be kind to one another out there.